colleagues and, and my, especially my junior colleagues, and I'm going to say something in Afrikaans now. I say, sukkel when you eat sukkel. That means if you're struggling to get this thing to work, you're doing something wrong. <coughs> and the more complex a, a, a product is to use, the more ifs and buts there are in the in the package insert and in the uh, explanation how to use it. The better the chances are that you are going to do something wrong. Then the certain safety factors, we all know this, biometry, good capsule access, must tear the capsule, no cortex left, the IOL must be inserted easily. Don't, if you struggle, it's not a good IOL. It must be in the bag, no PC ruptures, good polishing of the posterior capsule, and maybe you should polish the anterior capsule. There has been a lot of debate about that, I think it's supposed to be done, but it's, it's uh, half an irritating procedure. Now, I have, having done this nice catheter operation, you may have now just polish the anterior capsule. So we uh, a little bit negligent about it. Then the IOL safety factors, biocompatibility, the shape, easily foldable and insertable, good centration must occur automatically, stability, when it's in the eye, it must be stable. And then no peripheral posterior edge uh, preventing, uh, good peripheral posterior edge preventing PCO, excellent optical predictability, efficacy. <coughs> Biocompatibility of the material, all the materials we use are very compatible. I'm not going to discuss that in detail. The shape of the IOL, all these lenses that we use had a good shape, it's easy to inject them, they don't give any trouble. Ease of insertion, I have discussed that. Simplicity creates safety. If it's easy, it's safe. Complexity creates complications. If it's difficult, it's dangerous. Optical characteristics. What's interesting about the lens M plus has, has an asymmetrical semicircular shape and that is not intuitively correct from my point of view but once the lens is in it works very well if it's well positioned. Centration, store centre as well, FVP centre as well, lens M plus, I descri uh, described the, the centration. Then just to repeat the angle cap I think. Angle cap part is the angle between the line going through the apex of the cornea and the optical axis. And that is sometimes a very small angle and sometimes it's a big angle. And sometimes angle cap part is on the temporal side and sometimes it's not on the temporal side. And an easy way to evaluate it is to look at the QJ reflex, but you can also see it on the orb scan or upon the IOL master. You must put the lens M plus distant vision uh, part of the lens in front of the optical axis. That is the critical thing. Stability, we've uh, discussed good cataract surgery leads to stability. If you leave cortex there, you might cause uh, decentration and move it forward to the side. Every movement is a bad thing. Peripheral edge preventing PCO, as I said previously, PCO not only put, adds another refractive surface, you must remember the light has also already been divided for this lens. So if you now have 50% of the light for all the distances and you put the PCO in front of it, you re really reduce the vision early in the process. And then the side effects, halos, there, um, starburst. If you have these side effects and the patient had a perfect operation, the patient's not happy, so he didn't get what was promised. So he said, I don't feel it was, it was a safe procedure, Mr. Jazz, because I'm worse off than what I was. Then I, I mentioned the explants, and we did not have to do any explant of, of the fine vision, which in our series was a good thing. It made me feel safe to put the lens in. And then predictability and efficacy speaks for itself. The lens must be predictable, you must know what you're going to get, and it must work. And optically, these lenses work. And then now we have the three lenses and the restore the lenses, emphasis, the visual fine vision, the size HD and the Tech Symphony are the two new ones. And here we have a picture of the restore.
there are other pictures of the lens, and this is the picture the patient sees at night. So you can see there is less clear halos than with the 360 degree the diffractive or refractive lens. The, the, and the other thing that's very good of this lens, only 6% of light is reflected, which means long. That's good. And here is the fine vision trifocal. And uh, we have 15% of light reflected. I'm not sure about the time. If I'm running out of time. One minute. One minute. And then you have the diffractive patterns of the fine vision. Summary of the safety features. We basically mentioned this already. The fine vision was easier. Send us the best to restore is slightly more difficult, but may require larger decision. These problems are often slightly disinflation. The lenses require perfect position. Once it's it in position, it causes these clear layers. And then I said about the angle kappa. And then we have the two new lenses, try this, try 80, this and try. And this is a toric one. And I'm not going to discuss this because it's been discussed before. And there's a picture of the symphony. Now, what is interesting to me, these rays of light of the elongated focus of the Techno Symphony looks very similar to the info lens that Jerome Rondell has described, so I'd like to discuss that with you. And these pictures you've seen. And then, the last thing then, from the results from England, which is more people just reported, Dr. Hamid, and uh, he was in the same group as Mark Weevil, found that, oh, sorry, he found that uh, the